Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about luxury shoes. I've been getting a lot of requests to do more videos on footwear. I'm guessing now that many of us can go out again, everyone's a little bit more interested in shoes, which is certainly true for me as well. So I thought I would round up my favorite luxury shoes that I currently own. This has definitely changed compared to, I guess, a couple of years ago. I definitely have had a swap in some of my favorites as well as a few new pairs that I absolutely love. So I thought I would round of my favorites I am ranking them as well and just going over how comfortable they are how versatile and if I think they're worth the money I'm also sharing two new pairs that I got in as well so I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started this video is kindly being sponsored by my Teresa, who I have worked with many times before and they are my go-to place for all things luxury. The shopping experience is truly unparalleled, like it's so wonderful, the packaging is beautiful, the edit is always incredible and all the items are just gorgeous and their shoe selection is incredible and every single one of these shoes is available from my Teresa. So I will go ahead and link everything in the description section if you did wanna check anything out. I did also want to let you guys know they are currently going live with a flash sale. So this is available for three more days and this is a discount off on top of their already discounted sale merchandise and there are some amazing deals to be had. So their sale items are already discounted pretty generously as well, but you can get up to 40% off extra on top of those sale prices. So many amazing items. I do have a whole blog post with all of my picks. This one is available in the US, Canada, Asia and I think a few other locations. So I will pop the full list down below. Um, I will link that blog post, but definitely worth a look. There are some great deals to be had. So first up are a pair of mid-heel pumps and these are from Roger Vivier. If any of you watch my haul videos, you may remember when I showed these, I was initially dithering between these and the patent leather cream ones. I ended up going for these and I'm so happy that I did. I love the color and I feel like the color on the website doesn't really show them accurately. When I first saw them online, I thought they were kind of proper olive green, but actually in reality, they're like, it's like a taupe, but like a gray taupe, if that makes any sense. Like a really, really nice neutral color. They go with absolutely everything and they are so comfy and just the perfect heel height. They definitely give you a little bit of a height boost, but not so much that you're not gonna be able to walk in them. And these are just so useful. They do make a little bit of a statement as well. They do have that kind of classic signature buckle. I love these. I do feel like they make any outfit just look very, very smart. You know, really easy to pair because of the color, but they make everything look just a bit more pulled together and a bit fancier because you do have that slightly more elevated element with the buckle. So I love these. The suede is so comfy as well. And that's always like my top tip. If you struggle with heels and you struggle to find some that are really comfortable for you, always go for suede. You can always protect them with a spray if you're worried about them getting dirty. But suede is always gonna be so much more comfortable than patent leather and really make it a lot more malleable to your foot. Next up are my Golden Goose sneakers and I have been loving these so, so much and I absolutely know that these are a love it or a hate it thing. It took me a long time to come around to the kind of dirtier element of them. I did get the intentionally distressed version. You can also get plain ones though if you don't like that kind of look, but I just got totally worn down by Instagram and Pinterest. I saw these styled in so many cute ways and now I have them, I kind of get the hype. Like I love the design, I love the kind of pop of black. You can get these in literally every combination though. And they are not only very, very comfortable, but just a really nice kind of elevated style if you wanted a sneaker, but you wanted something that was just a bit more exciting than you know your general Nikes or anything like that. And yeah, I've really been enjoying them. I found I have been reaching for them a lot and it's nice that they are kind of inherently weatherproof because because you know, in our part of the world now, and I feel like I probably mentioned this before, but we get like weather with a capital W, like in any given day, it will rain, thunderstorm, and then be brilliant sunshine in the space of like two hours. Like it is crazy weather here. So I love the fact that I just don't have to worry so much about these, you know, they are already, you know, distressed. They already have that dirty element. I wouldn't be able to tell you if they have a lot more dirt on them because that's just the kind of look of them. 
and I think they're kind of fantastic. So definitely not for everyone. I really been enjoying mine. I do find them very comfy. There is a decent amount of padding. Definitely next on my wish list are the Pure Stars, which are the pure white ones. The ones with the leopard print on the back, I love. So those are next on my list, but I've really, really been enjoying these. And if you are a sneaker girl, I do think these are worth it. I have just been loving mine. Next up are my Valentino sandals. And I've had these now for, gosh, maybe three or four years. I feel like it's been a while. And these are just fantastic. And I've got to say, I don't wear my entire Rockstud line very much anymore. I still have the really high heels and the kitten heels. Um, kitten heels, I still think are amazing. They are so, so comfortable, but just not a style I reach for these days that much. These ones though, I think are great. And I think it's really kind of difficult to find a nice heeled sandal, which is still like comfortable enough for kind of walking and everyday wear. And this, I feel like just ticks a lot of boxes, which not many other styles of shoe do. You know, it's very iconic. You have that really beautiful luxe element, but they are so comfy. Like I've worn these for hours and hours and hours. And I didn't have any issues. I, I feel like I could do a light jog in these. <laughs> like that's how comfortable they are. Mine are the older stars, so I think the newer versions maybe have one more strap and, and have a slightly higher heel. I have tried those on as well though and they are just as comfortable as these. You can also get a kind of proper high heel as well if you like your very high heels, but I love these and these are still a style that I reach for, even as I don't reach for my other ones as much. The sandals I just love and I absolutely think are worth the money. I mean, you'll be able to tell like I've worn these a lot, but they are so great and just one of my favorite kind of go anywhere summer sandals. Next up are my Jimmy Choo Bing heels. And I really debated where to rank these because I would consider them one of my favorite shoes. Like I love them and I always think it's so important whenever buying any luxury item, whether that's a bag or a belt or shoes, like whatever it is, it's important to get those kind of like butterflies because these are like so expensive that you really want to just get excited at the mere thought of the pieces, even when you've had them for a while. And these shoes just do that for me. Like I love the look of them. But I also wanted to take into account cost per wear as well, and these don't do as well on that front. But if you watch all my videos, you'll know, I think it was a couple of videos ago, I did like a styling video, and I challenged myself to style these up in a whole bunch of different ways. And I feel like I have so many more outfit options now. So I have even more renewed enthusiasm. Not that it ever really dimmed for this style of shoe, because as I mentioned, I just love these to bits. I also love all the new variations, like the new Plexi version is gorgeous. I think it is so stunning. But overall, I just think this shoe is beautiful. They are fairly comfy as well. I would say I would probably give these like a seven out of 10 in terms of high heels. Obviously that's not the same scale as sneakers because always a sneaker is going to be more comfortable than a high heel. But I would definitely say that these are more on the comfortable side. It also helps that there's never gonna be any pinching or anything like that on on the back and because of the extra strap they do hold your foot in place which is often where I do feel like a lot of the discomfort comes from if your foot feels really unstable and you don't have that issue with these so even though they are very high I do find them quite comfortable to wear and I just love these like such a special shoe and I just absolutely adore them even many many months later. And next up, my second from absolute favorite shoe is the Christian Louboutin Eriza. I love this shoe, like it is so great. I have it in two colors, so I have it in the black and the nude. The nude ones are, as you can see, very, very worn. I need to redo the heel, like the, the plastic has all come off, like I've worn these a ton. Um, but I've definitely, definitely got my cost per wear down on these. They are one of my go-to heels. I just think they're so fantastic. And they do have the kind of classic look of a regular stiletto heel but then on the other side you do have that cut out element which just makes them a little bit more different looking I think but also makes them quite comfy as well just because I feel like there's more room for your foot to move and for me these are just so much more comfortable than their other pump styles. I've also had the Kates, I've had the Pigalle heels and these are by far the comfiest for me so I love these and um, by no means are these slippers. You know, these are obviously not going to be the same as a kitten heel or a sneaker, but again, I would say these are fairly comfy for me. I would probably rank them a seven out of 10 as well. Absolutely love the look, just so classic, go with everything and anything. The black ones haven't been used quite as much, but that's because I'm always reaching for my nude ones, but are still absolutely wonderful. Um, so yeah, would definitely recommend 
absolutely love them and just the most beautiful classic shoe. And then finally for my absolute favourite shoe, it is the Jean Vito Rossi Pump. I'm sure this isn't going to come as a surprise to anyone. I've mentioned these many times before, but this was my favourite. I feel like pretty much ever since I discovered them. So what is it, four or five years? And they've been my consistent favorite all the way throughout. I own these in four colors in this heel height. I have the black, the pale pink, uh, a lilac, and then also a leopard print version. And then I also just got in the lower heel version in a kind of top neutral color as well. I love these. The heel height is very, very high at 105 mil, but even though they are very tall and high, again, because of the suede, they are extremely comfortable. I have worn these to weddings. I've worn them on date nights. They just really don't quit. And I just think they're fantastic. It is a very classic shoe silhouette and you just can't go wrong because they are so simple. They are extremely flattering on the foot and the leg. And I would say that I have tried this kind of shoe style from all of the major luxury brands from Jimmy Choo to Manolo Blahnik. These are by far my most comfortable. I don't find the Jimmy Choo versions particularly comfy. I don't find the Manolo Blahnik versions particularly comfy. I still have them on my shelf and I pretty much never reach for them because these are just so head and shoulders above the rest. I absolutely adore them. Um, if you did want a lower heel height, you can go for the, I think it's 85 mil option, um, which are considerably lower, but they still definitely give you a big height boost, but are definitely more comfortable if you just don't like heels this high. So there are a few different options. They always release these year after year. I'm assuming they're a bestseller for them, but 100% my favorite, favorite shoe. I'd recommend them to anyone who likes their heels, but doesn't like to be in a lot of pain. I'd say comfort level, probably like a nine out of 10 in terms of high heels. I just adore them and they go with absolutely everything. And now for two new in pairs of shoes, I mentioned I've been having a little bit of a wardrobe change up. So I've been doing a clear out and I've now tackled my handbags. I'm going through my shoes. I've just finished my clothes as well bit of a long process, but I really wanted to kind of narrow in on pieces which one, I'm gonna get a lot of use out of, and also two, that just bring me a lot of joy. You know, I mentioned with my Jimmy Tube thing heels that even though I'm still working on getting the cost per wear down, the amount of joy they bring me just to look at is really something that I wanna kind of replicate throughout all of my wardrobe if I can. So hopefully I've done that with these two new shoe purchases. Uh, one is probably a little bit more practical than the other, but first up, Jean Vito Rossi, one of my go-tos, obviously. Um, and this is a new style, so if you watch a lot of my fashion videos, you will probably know that I really like kind of plexi, invisible style shoes because they are so easy to pair with like everything. So I saw these and loved the look of them. So they have very, very similar kind of look. Definitely that kind of invisible element. I'm hoping these are gonna be really comfy as well because they do have that kind of malleable plastic element to them. They do have a crisscross strap as well, so very, very secure on the foot. The heel height is definitely quite high, but again, I've had fairly good luck with Jean Vito Rossi, so I'm hoping that's going to continue with these and I love them. I think they are so beautiful, so stylish, and do just kind of disappear on your foot, which I always think is the most flattering style, you know? I love a good pointy heel, but if a shoe can just disappear, I just think it's always gonna make your legs look so much longer, and I love these, so very, very excited. I will update on comfort levels when I've had a chance to wear them out all night long, but fingers crossed they are going to be super, super comfy, and I just love the look of them. And then finally for my last pair of shoes, these are from Christian Louboutin and this was definitely a splurge. This is the most money I've ever spent on a pair of shoes ever. Um, and I debated on them for so long, but the sheer beauty of them just won me over and it's definitely one of those gives me butterfly purchases, like so, so crazy beautiful. And I would say that even though I love Jean Vito Rossi for just their comfort and their elegance, Christian Louboutin do the most incredible statement making shoes. Like they are stunning. So I have here um, some extra heel tips. I have two dust bags. And then you can see that. So these are a kind of um, embellished plexi pump um, with a metallic heel. And oh my goodness, as soon as I saw these online, I gasped. And again, I said to myself, like, I wouldn't be able to keep them unless I truly love them. 
and I just think they are so beautiful, like truly up there with my Jimmy Tubing heels, are just shoes that are an absolute showstopper. They do have that completely invisible element all the way around. It is a pointed toe, and then you have all of these beautiful jewels all the way through, and they are just a whole bunch of different colors. So you have blues there, you have lilacs, you have pinks and reds and yellows, and it's just stunning, like they really sparkle in the light in the most beautiful way. On the back you have this kind of champagne gold metallic effect and that carries on through to the heel and then on the sole you do have that classic red sole as well. They aren't the highest of heels, not for Louboutin anyway, these are still plenty high enough for me but I feel like in Louboutin world they have some crazy crazy high heels. I did have to size up in these from my regular Louboutin size because the next size down was a little bit snug um, but these fit great and I just think they are beautiful like truly just such a stunning shoe and I'm so incredibly excited about them so hopefully they will also be practical as well because again not super crazy high hopefully they'll be comfy because of the plexi element and I just think they are so breathtaking so that is it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed it as usual I will link everything that I featured in the description section below if you did want to check anything out if you have any questions about any of these items or anything else that I didn't cover then feel free to leave me a comment below and I will try and get back to you if you enjoyed the video please do give us a thumbs up and as always thank you so much for watching I will see you in my next one bye guys